Hello YouTube, this is Cole Blue here with another Fakemon video for you. Um, today we are, I changed the the formation of them. So they look a lot nicer rather than just drawings on a piece of paper. They actually have like backgrounds and details added into them. Which I think makes them look a lot nicer and I think you will let, ap appreciate them much more because I put more work into them and plus they're more visually appealing to you. But... I also changed how we're doing it. We're going to do four families per video. Not four families, but four final evolutions per video. And that's all I'm going to do per video is just to keep it nice and short so you don't waste all your time watching these in case you don't like them. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the very first Fakemon that I have made, whose name is Dustcap. And Dustcap is a pure ground type. Um, his stats, as you can see, I added them onto this picture so you can see them better. His stats are HP is 60, attack is 40, defense is 45, special attack is 40, special defense is 35, and speed is 30. His species is the Sand Pile Pokemon. His abilities are Sand Force, Sand Veal, and Sand Rush. Um, its Dexter info is that it often hides in the sand as it waits for prey. It often goes unnoticed by people passing by as well. So basically he's just supposed to be like a mixed Pokemon where he can either be spe special or physical attacker. Not very good in special defense but that is fine I guess because if you give it Eviolite I think that would be just fine for this guy and now I'm gonna do his evolution dust no not dust the dust claw okay and this is dust claw he's a also a pure ground typing his HP is 90 attack is 85 defense is 90 special attack is 80 special defense is 75 speed 85 he is the dust Pokemon um, his abilities are Sand Force and Sand Veal, and I also forgot to mention on the on the on Dust Cap. Um, this family's hidden ability is Sand Rush, and his Dexter info is that they can feel the Earth rotate beneath them as they float above it. Their eye never lets a target escape. And basically, this is supposed to be more of a mixed Pokemon, like I said before. So give it a choice band, I'm assuming, and you'll be fine with it. Because its speed's not all that bad. If you, that's, you see, I can't math in my head. So it'd be pretty fast with a choice band, I actually think. But yeah, it's supposed to be good with uh, attacks like Iron Head, Crush Claw, Iron Claw, Stone Edge, Earthquake. Um, it learns Thunder Punch and Power Up Punch by level up. Oh, and also Poison Dap, I forgot to mention that. Um... It can also be used as a setup mod, because it can learn spikes, mean look, um, and yes, it can also be a setup with sharpen. I don't know how many of you actually use that online. I've tried a few times, it doesn't work out very well. But yeah, sharpen works is, is pretty good. Um, pursuit, no not per. well pursuit can work for it too. Um, I, it can also learn iron defense by level up, and... Excuse me. Um, it can also do retaliate as a revenge Pokemon with the choice band, like I said before. So yes, um, that is Dust Claw for this right now. Okay, and this is just to, just to show you how it evolves and what it evolves into. Because I have taken the time and done that for you, so that in case like Pokemon that evolve different ways and into different ones are simply just shown so it's easier for you to remember than me just saying it to you without having to be able to read it in front of you because I understand that can be hard sometimes but yes um Dustcap evolves into Dust Claw at level 25 normally so yeah that's it oh I forgot I forgot to mention that um Dustcap has different looks depending on what gender it is like other Pokemon do like for example Hippowdon Hippopotas so I don't know if you guys noticed that or not but if 
you can go back and look at it if you don't mind. Basically, it's not that much of a difference, just the difference between what kind of shrubbery is growing on top of it as camouflage. But yes, now we'll move on to the next Pokemon. And that Pokemon is Tadpearl. And he is a psychic water typing. And I've been told that people like his name because I'm part of his Facebook group that makes f Pokemon fan art. And someone told me that his name sounds like the Erd of my Gerd. It's a Turd of Pearl. And they thought that was really funny. So, just a side note. And it's HP is 65. Attack is 30. Defense is 30. Special attack is 60. Special defense is 60. Speed is 40. So, it's not very good um, physically, but especially it is supposed to be really good. Um, so yeah, this thing cannot take a bug bite or let's say a spark because it will instantly faint and it's also not all that fast. I think it's faster than dust cap. Let me check real quick when it's uh, no, actually, yes, it is faster by than dust cap. So it's got that going for it. Um, it's the prediction Pokemon and um, basically, I got that idea from, because it's basically based off of a fortune teller, because it's using the pearl that floats in front of it, that, um, it can be able to see the future with it, so, that's kind of what I based it off of, if you're wondering about origins of ideas, and how I got these ideas. Um, um, its abilities are drizzle and hydration. And it's hidden ability is Foretold, which is an ability I made up just for Tad Pearl's family, which basically means that um, this ability uh, makes it so that all priority moves against this Pokemon miss completely. It is unaffected by priority moves at all. That includes like things like... <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize for that. That includes things like Extreme Speed, um, Sucker Punch, Pursuit, um, Gale Wings is negated. Um, what else is in there? Um, oh yeah, Prankster is also negated on Tad Pearl as well. So, I guess you can say that this is actually a really good ability. So, it can be used as like a mental, like a, a not bra brain games Pokemon, because like, You'll never tell, like, you can tell if it's a Sucker Punch or not, but you will never be able to tell, like, if a Sableye isn't Mega. You can't tell whether or not to set up with it, like, the um, use status moves, because you don't know if it'll just miss the Pokemon, be useless, and you'll waste it a turn. Or, like, the, um, bra not Braviary, Talon Flame, because basically all of its flying moves are would miss, so that basically means you're immune to its Brave Bird. Which everyone uses, and I find it really annoying. Which is kind of also one of the reasons why I made Tad Pearl's family. It's just to negate um, Talonflame, because it's just so annoying and everything is the same. Every team has a Talonflame. Basically, like, 90% of the teams I face online have Talonflame, so this basically negates Talonflame and renders it useless. Now that, with that rant out of the way, it's Dexter info basically mean, says that it can see the future... Um, glimpses of the future inside of its pearl that floats by it. And yeah, this is supposed to be somewhat of a kind of good LC Pokemon because it has protect. Um, it can set up barriers. It can do detect Aurora Beam. Um, it can also do belch if you go that direction. Um, it's got stab confusion by level up it gets stab bubble beam confuse ray round side beam if you're really brave you'll just run that really powerful tackle and yes yeah, so that is tad pearl and now on to its evolution and its evolution is few toad which is also water psychic typing um its hp is 90 its attack is 60 its defense is 70, its special attack is 105, special defense is 98, and speed is 70, which makes its stat total 493. I probably should have said the other stat totals for all the other Pokemon, 
I'll do that at the very end um, at the video because I'll do a recap. Um, it is also the prediction Pokemon, just like Tadpearl was. Um, its abilities are the same as Tadpearl's Drizzle Hydration, and its hidden ability is still foretold, which makes priority moves miss, like I said before. Um, its Dexter info says they can look into their pearls to see full events of the future, because Tadpearls can only see glimpses and slight moments of it. Um, Futoid has mastered that ability, so they can now see full glimpses of the like full moments. And they try to change it if it's bad for their trainer. So it's kind of like Gardevoir where it tries to protect you, but it doesn't go to the extreme of creating a black hole. It just changes your future for you, if you, if need be. And it can be used as a Destiny Bond Pokemon. It also learns Disarming Voice. Um, for the Dark Types, for it to count. I think Disarming Voice is actually a Fairy-type move. That's why I'm saying this. If I'm wrong, completely ignore everything I'm saying right now. Um, it learns Future Sight the moment it levels up. Um, it learns Hyper Voice, Extra Sensory Stab, Mirror Coat, Muddy Water. Um, the last move it learns by level up is Hydro Cannon. It can learn Cosmic Power, Baby Doll Eyes, um, Bounce, Calm Mind, Barrier, um, Water Pulse, Ice Beam. I'm just listing off a b bunch of random attacks I have listed. I have actually attacks listed for these Pokemon on the pages I have in my notebook for them. But I'm just trying to figure out, I'm just trying to list off which ones are I think people would actually use for them. So I think the most common set, if I think about it, for people to use would be Calm Mind, um, Detect, um, Hydro Cannon, and most likely also either Destiny Bond or Disarming Voice. That's just what I think. But also that could be very, very wrong. Now I'm going to show you its evolution and how that works. So yeah, basically it just evolves by level up normally. There's no, nothing special that happens to it. It's not like you need an item or a trait or anything like that. Just evolves at level 21 like a normal Pokemon would. Um, I don't know where this would be in the game. I mean, I think it would be like after the first gym at least because of its hidden ability. That could be um, a lucky break for someone that's using the the Poke Search, as I call it, on the um, Dex Nav. I don't even know if I'm even saying any of this right because I don't pay attention to what they're called, but... The thing allows you to look up Pokemon where they are and what the abilities are. So I didn't like say this is after the first gym Pokemon. Like you would catch if you're like walking in water or something like that. But yeah, now we'll move on to the next Pokemon. And of course, the next Pokemon I made is Teslug. And Teslug is a pure poison type, and it's easy to see what he was based off of. It's a test tube that spilt over. You've seen millions of these. Um fake mods on the internet, but I decided to make one because I thought it's a really cool idea, so, yeah. Um, Tesslug's HP is 40, attack is 35, defense is 90, special attack is 56, special defense is 100, and speed is 35, which makes its stat total 356. Now, I understand it's not very good stats, but remember this is an LC... <coughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. It's an LC Pokemon. Um, so yeah, its stats aren't supposed to be good. I mean, look at CDOT. It's amazing, but it's weak as well. Explosion, Shift Tree is a thing. Use it. Um, obviously, it is a Test 2 Pokemon. Um, its abilities are Poison Point and Poison Touch. Which basically means if you touch it or it touches you, depending on which ability you have, you your the opponent has a chance of getting poisoned. And um, its hidden ability is natural cure, which I guess can be useful, but because it's a, supposed to be like a wallish Pokemon, so if you get like burned or paralyzed because you can't get poisoned, um, I don't know if this is a, well confusion goes away anyways if you return it. Um, also sleeping maybe. I don't know if that works. Never seen that happen before, but yes. Um, its Dexter info says that it's though its shell is weak, it can withstand very powerful radiation. So basically, glass breaks easily, but.
but it protects it from radiation from where it lives, but so, yeah. And I guess it could be a setup mod in LC because it learns coil, harden, um, to acid armor, acid spray, toxic spikes, toxic, um, confide, block, assist, a muddy water, it learns as well. So the counter that ground weakness. And it also learns Astonish, I have written down here, for the psychic weakness that it also has. Um, and it also does clear smog in case your opponent is trying to set up on you to take you down in one hit. So yes, that is Teslug, and now we'll move on to its powerful evolution. And its evolution of Teslug is named called Slug. I know, it's a horrible name. I literally just thought of a better name for it. Slugdren. That would have been much better. I feel stupid. But I can't change it now because I'm already recording. But, yeah, you win some, you lose some. Um, called Slug, or Slugdren, which I wish I would have named it now, um, is a pure poison type. Just like Teslug was. Um, its HP is 60, attack is 40, a pitiful 47, its defense is an astounding 130, so no earthquakes, unless it's guard chomp, because then you're dead anyways, no matter what, even if you're a flying type, earthquake will just kill you. Um, its special attack is 73, which ain't that bad, um, special defense is 160, so psychics aren't really hurting this guy. And speed is 50, which is pitifully slow, but... Keep in mind, it's still faster than Mega Meg Cargo. Which, not Mega Meg Cargo. Wow. Mega Camera Upt. Wow, that was a mistake that cannot be made. Um, its stat total is 520 with all of these. It is the Cauldron Pokemon, as you can see by its design. This design is really not that complicated, so I really don't need to explain it. Um, its abilities are Poison Point and Poison Touch, just like they were in Teslug, and its hidden ability is Natural Cure, just like Teslug's as well. Um, basically, its Dexter info says that its um, slimy skin can is said to be, have magical powers inside, trapped inside of it. Kind of like a witch's cauldron, you understand like the concept there? Like it's brewing a potion and it's tipped over and called Slug was created. And now the magic is trapped inside of its skin. So, yes. So, maybe if it gets a mega evolution, that Dexter info would mean that it turns into a psychic type as well. I don't know how good that would be, Poison Psychic. I don't think it... Is there any one of the... I don't think there is. So, I don't know how good that is. That's probably a lot of weaknesses. But it resists its weakness for poison, so it can't be all that bad. Anyways... Yes, that is Cold Slug, and now we will move on to how it evolves. Okay, now basically this evolution is normal. Test Slug evolves into Cold Slug, or Slug Drin, I don't care what you call it. You know what, as a matter of fact, in the comment section down below, if you wouldn't mind, pick which one you prefer it to be called. Do you prefer Cold Slug, or do you prefer Slug Drin? I can't change its name because it's already posted on YouTube, so don't, affect, so don't expect a change to the video. But I'm just curious to what you guys think sounds better. Slug Drink just does roll down the roll off the tongue better than Slug called Slug does. It just sounds awkward when you say it, and it feels awkward with your tongue. But either way, yes, down in the comment section below, which name do you prefer? And thank you. Now, anyways, um, back to its uh, evolution. This name is more evolving. Um, Test Slug evolves into Cold Slug. At level 36, which I think is the same as Mux, not Mux, but Grimer's, into Mux, but, um, either that or it's 38, I don't remember, but I'm pretty, almost, I'm almost certain that Slurp evolves at level 36. So, yes, um, I hope you like Cult Slug or Slugdren, comment section below, and I will be showing you the next Pokemon here. Okay, so now with a new evolutionary family, we are starting with a concept that I think is kind of cool. Now, um, I have no reason why I came up with this idea, um, yeah, don't ask, because I don't have any reason, it just came. 
Um, but this is the Sweel Family Evolution line. And Sweel is a grass and steel type Pokemon just like... <clears throat> Feral Thorn is. Yes, Feral Thorn, not Feral Thorn. Well, they're the same. But anyways. Yes, it is a Steel Grass Pokemon, which is kind of unique. I think there's only two of them. And its HP is a very powerful and mighty 20. Um, its attack is also a very mighty and powerful 25. Its defense is 55. Its special attack is 15. And its special defense is a whole whopping holy cow 100. And its speed is also a whopping 95. It makes its stat total 305. Now, I don't know about you, but Eviolite, too much. Too much defense on this thing. What I was trying to go for with the Sweel family was a fast wall. I'm just, I was just thinking like, that's a, that's something very unique. I've never seen or heard of that before, a fast wall. I thought to myself, that was interesting. So I try to inv include that in the stats with a fast wall Pokemon. Now, basically, it is a seed inside of a tire, floating inside of a tire. It is not attached by its face. It floats inside of it. I know it's kind of hard to see, but my drawing skills are not the best. I don't go to art school. I basically just do this for fun, and then, then, done. And, yeah, so basically, a fast wall Pokemon. Awesome. Um, it's, it's the wheel Pokemon. Like I kind of said before, its abilities are inner focus, um, limber, and its hidden ability is speed boost, which I think might be a little broken. But yes, limber is there, so that can't so speed can't be halved. Inner focus is there, so fake out doesn't hurt it. And its speed boost is there just to make your wall faster. I hope you enjoy. Um, its Dexter info says that. It never moves unless, unless startled and it rolls away at amazing speeds. It spends most of its day absorbing sunlight so it can evolve. So yes, that is Sweel. I hope you enjoy. And now we'll move on to Surseed. And here is Sweel's evolution, Surseed. And Surseed is supposed to be a pun on the word circle and seed. Not difficult if... Well, it might be to some, but anyways, it's a grass steel typing, just like Sweel was. Um, its HP is 45, attack is 45, defense is 70, its special attack is 30, its special defense is 125, and speed is 75. Wait. Gosh darn it. Okay, I swear worded up. Because Sweel's speed is 95 and Sir C's is 75. So apparently when it evolves, it gets slower. Wow, that was a mistake on my end. I am so sorry about that. Too late to fix it, so yeah, just live with it. <laughs> um, crap. Um, which makes the stat total 30. 30. 390. It is also the wheel Pokemon, just like Sir. It's not just like Sweel was. Its abilities are inner focus, limber, hidden ability is still speed boost. Just like Sweel's was. And as Dexter info says that it raises others to compete for food. And oops. <coughs> So yes, it competes for for basically su for space for sunlight by erasing others of each other. So hopefully it's a sweel when it does that, so, so it can beat the speed of a surseed. Again, I'm really sorry about that. I didn't even notice that until reading that. I apologize. But we'll move on to surseed's evolution. And the final evolution of the sweel family is Notchwheel. 
which is basically this will be words nature and wheel combined into one word notch wheel. It is still a grass and steel type Pokemon. Its HP is a powerful 50. Attack is 55. Defense is a swoundering 120. Special attack is 45. Its special defense is 140. And its speed is 95. Um, which makes the stat total 505. So notch wheels are the same speed as wheels are. So congrats guys, you're the same you're about as fast as your babies. Wow. You must be real proud. Wink. I'm sorry. Um it is still the wheel Pokemon. Um its abilities are inner focus. Um Limber changes to iron barbs. As you can see its wheel is covered with spikes. It says it's a grass steel type and it gave it iron barbs just to make it more wally. That's not even a word, but it's more wallish. A better wall. Like, it's a brick. But you don't punch bricks because it hurts. That's what this thing is. You don't punch it, it hurts. And its hidden ability is still a speed boost that doesn't change. And its Dexter information it says that it is commonly used during Pokemon races. Um. It is a tough Pokemon to train because it can be very stubborn and what's the word? I had the wrong word written down because I know that's not Ryan. Not right. Pride. Has too much pride. And yes, yeah, so it's hard to train. So if you have one that listens to you, you get a lot of respect from the racing community. So yes, that is Nate's Wheel. And I will now tell you how its evolutionary line actually evolutionizes. So here's its evolutionary line and wait, hold on a second, did is something wrong here? Does that s s say limber? I have iron barbs right now in my notebook. Gosh darn it! I swear worded again, I messed up. Crap. You know what, Sir Seed? I cannot make you correct. I cannot make you or your daddy or mommy or grandfather or grandpappy correct. I just screwed up the entire Sir Swede. Swe I can't even say their names. Holy cats. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. That was a mistake. Take. That's not supposed to happen. I apologize. But anyways, you know it's supposed to say iron barbs, not limber. Again, I am truly sorry. Okay. Um. So let's get this right this time. Um. Sweel evolves into Cersei to level twenty-five. And Notch Wheel is an awkward evolution. Finally, in this video, where it evolves in trade. So yeah, that's it for this evolutionary family. Now we'll do a cover, st not a cover story. I'll talk about them all at once and compare them, okay? So here are the f all the final evolutions shown in this video per family. And we are going to uh, compare all of them to each other. Dust Claw is a pure ground type that is mixed um special and physical attacking. Um and yes, that's basically it for Dust Claw. And Futoad is our Pokemon that is immune to all priority attacks. Which means Gale Wings and Prankster, Sucker Punch, um Pursuit. All of that is Im it is immune to all of those. Extreme speed, nothing. It's not affected by any of those. Our water psychic type. That is true. And then we have Cold Slug or Slugdrin. Comment section below. I already told you before. And basically Cold Slug or Slugdrin is our very powerful wall that we have created. With um, the natural cure. So in case it gets status, he can be taken out, put it back in. And 
with the stats of defenses 130, special defenses 160. A very powerful wall that you might want to use. And then we have the Mistakes Galore Pokemon, Notch Wheel. And Notch Wheel is basically um, the Pokemon I made up, who is supposed to be something new that I've never seen or heard of before. A fast wall. With um, defense at 120, special defense at 140, and speed at 95. With the ability Iron Barbs, it's supposed to be Iron Barbs, not Limber. Ignore Limber, replace it with Iron Barbs. Thank you. Um, and it's hidden ability Speed Boost. Both of these can make it really useful. Personally, I believe... Personally. Uh, words. Personally, I believe Iron Barbs will make it more of a wall, and I would like it better that way. You might see Speed Boost being a better ability. That is up to you. And also, just as a... Uh, FYI, Surseed would be amazing Eevee Light Pokemon. With Defense 70, Defense Special Defense 125, Eevee Light would make this thing the greatest thing since Giratina as a wall. But yeah, oops, crap. Drop my pen. There it is. And so basically, these are all the Pokemon that I have made. Down in the comment section below, if you would not mind leaving a comment that's saying which Pokemon you would use. In battle, in game, and competitive, and why and what kind of set you would use for it. And also, if you want to mind, I'm just kind of curious with the sets you would use. Would you include the natures of the of of what you would want it to have, and explain to me why you would want to it to have that nature? But I very much appreciate you guys watching this episode. It means a lot to me. Um, sharing my ideas with you, it's just wonderful. I enjoy it so much. And I thank you for watching me talk about drawings. That's literally what this is, but I appreciate it so much. So, once again, this is Cole Blue. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Stay awesome. Oh, and one more thing before I go. Just as an FYI, my favorite fake mod in this video that I have shown is Few Toad. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.